Hey, welcome to another V Brown Bay video. We're here doing the build day at Ravello Systems. I'm joined this time by Matan Weisner, who is going to show us the API integrations that we have with the Ravello platform. Yes. Uh, in Ravello, we have a goal for our system. Uh, you can uh, do by the UI, you can do by the API. The UI use the API for to access in a via the server. For example, let's assume we have this Developing and and it, we want to create an application for developing it and it publish it and I I now create application name up from you I mark up my time. And this is the way I normally work with Ravello because I'm usually just creating one or two applications and using the user interface is the convenient easy way for me. Yes. To publish the app. We 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 can just uh, from a very reason, let's do the US sort of way to run. Publish. But our aim is publishing. Let's do this from the API. So uh, this is using Postman in a web browser to directly call the API. Yes. Uh, I uh, use the uh, direct deposit mean to send a direct reset to to the Ravello server. I I uh, send that I want both to application to create a new application that is name is Matan Appform API based on the same development. And I got OK, created, and it is based on the that the scribe the created app. I again that, that JSON's got all the properties that we see in the GUI, but all delivered down in the response body to that API call. Yes. Excellent. There is the the parameter that they can see in the GUI. Let the our application Matan app from API. Let's publish the new application. Let's copy this ID. We are post with this ID to publish to yours so there is one sin. This is we where it aim. takes a little while to actually instantiate the machines and, and get us back the body. But we're gonna again get a nice rich body back as as JSON information about the VMs that have been created. Yes, you we get the back of the operators of them. And we can see that our 
והם סטארטן. This started from the SDK. I was a terminal that I am forwarded it our SDK. So you've already, you've got the, this is a Python SDK that's calling the same API is much more easy to use repeatedly than Postman directly calling the API. Oh, fuck. And you've already authenticated, and, and the same as you have with Postman, you've done authentication beforehand. It's not open and, and pub, you know, it's publicly accessible, but it's secured. Yes, great. A simple solution with name and and we get an object back this time rather than a JSON. Yes. This is the object that the secure the way the 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 new app and the we can publish our new app client mm-hmm. publish application app on that same object. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So that was what three lines of code. We we had the first. So we we started the three lines of code with the blueprint ID, which you might have statically, or you might go in another line of code to find the the blueprint ID. Nice and easy. Mm-hmm. And we've only got four VMs in here, but that blueprint could have had hundreds. Yeah. Nice. And should we take a look at the uh, list of applications and just show that that SDK. That one that you've just created with the Python SDK looks exactly the same as the one from the API. And now we have that the last app Python SDK one at the top. From UI, mm-hmm. the app from API, and the app by SDK. And we have access through the SDK, so I didn't notice we specified the region to deploy that presumably there's a there's a property in there uh, to have a region when you deploy that app. We can yeah. specify the reason if there is a parameter name or parameter label. Mm-hmm. If we, we would perform this or parameter, we need to specify prefer the reason and it if we say in it do perform to cost open open the medicine or well or by a defend it'll choose the cheapest region to run this particular workline. So Thank you, Matan. We have seen that the Revelo interface is an API first and that the GUI is just a client of the API and that you can call the API directly or you can use a Python SDK to interact with the API. This makes it very easy to integrate with your own Jenkins environment or some lab deployment methodology or whatever automation you want. Really nice functionality and it uh, seems extremely easy to work with. Thank you, Matan. Sure.